this evening I'm going to make a, a chicken salad and I already have most of the stuff chopped finely or mince and so I'm going to add these different things. I chopped I uh, chopped up the chicken pretty fine. What I do is I cook it till it's kind of dry-ish. The reason why, and you can cook your chicken however you want. I like to bake the chicken breast, but you can use canned chicken or whatever your preference is. Um, but, you know, growing up poor, <laughs> you have to just kind of take what there is. And so there were times when I made chicken a little bit too dry and the kids really liked it, I liked it, and so they kind of liked the dry chicken. So I'll cook a little bit of it dry for that little bit of a texture, but I'll also cook some moist so that um, it makes it easier to make the chicken salad. So some of it's dry, some of it's moist. I have a little bit of the juices from the baked chicken in here, just a few of the juices. Uh, I seasoned it already, so I do season the chicken before I make the chicken salad. So it's kind of like as if we had leftover chicken from a meal and then I make it into chicken salad, which I've done that before. Um, so what I'm going to add to the chicken salad is I have some minced garlic. This is just one clove. It's a pretty big clove, so I decided to just use one clove. You can use more, I guess, if you want. A half a jalapeno, half a serrano pepper, half a habanero, and so that's that's kind of a lot of heat right there. What happened? Okay, I'm sorry, my husband was looking at me like I did something wrong. Is that too much heat, sweetheart? <laughs> he's thinking, he's like, it's too much heat. But I think it'll be fine. Typically, I put a lot of cayenne and crushed red pepper, and I'm not going to do that as much tonight because I like the fresh heat. I'm also adding a little bit of finely chopped garlic, I mean, um, broccoli stem. The reason why is because I used to put celery in my um, chicken salad. Has that nice little crunch, gives you some potassium, makes it healthy. But my husband doesn't like celery, so I modified it. Also putting some uh, parsley, partly because we have parsley right now and it's a good source of iron and we're going i'm making this chicken salad so that we could have it when we're camping and we're going to be out and we're going to need that additional iron <laughs> and so it's going to give us the energy we need so i'm also adding that to the uh, chicken salad also i'm going to add um, two hard-boiled eggs now i didn't peel the hard-boiled eggs because i wanted to kind of show y'all, if it works, how I peel them. Um, and this is kind of, it's not working out greatly, but it's, it's better. Um, I hard, I boil them, bring them to the boil. Hopefully they're cooked all the way through. And then I take the egg and kind of slam it and then roll it. And it makes it really fine around. So it's pretty crunchy now. And then I just start peeling off the outside. After you boil it, you put it in a cold water bath. And usually how I do that is I put a little bit, make a little ice water and take that ice water and uh, put the eggs in the ice water and let them sit there for a little bit. And so it's supposed to do something with physics of causing the egg to shrink in there or the shell to separate i'm not sure but it works and that comes off pretty easily and so i'm going to throw the shell away and turn the board over so if there's any residue shell i don't get that in the chicken salad and i'm going to chop these up kind of roughly chop it up another way to chop it sometimes is using a fork but my fork is in there and it already has chicken stuff all over it, so it has mama chickens in it, so I'm just going to cut up my baby chickens right here. Um, and 
And so kind of chopping these up roughly however I want. And then as I stir it into the chicken salad, it'll also chop up some more. Okay, I'm gonna drop this in here. And now I'm going to add other seasonings. I'm gonna add a little bit of basil pesto because we have it and I wanna see what it's like. Sometimes I make the chicken salad with avocado, but since we're camping and this is going to be in a cooler, the avocado will um, turn brown and be gross. So I'm doing other stuff instead. <laughs> uh, if I don't use avocado, I'll use mayonnaise. I'm going to put a little bit of cracked or stone ground mustard. I say a little bit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> My husband doesn't like that much mustard. He doesn't know how much I put unless he's filming me doing this. <laughs> so he's eating it before he enjoys it. He's fine. He probably likes mustard more than he realizes nowadays. All right, now I'm gonna put some mayonnaise. You need mayonnaise for a creaminess. Okay. And so what I'm gonna start doing is, I'm not sure if this bowl is large enough, but um, I, I don't like to make a lot of dishes either. so. I'm gonna to try to stir it up in the bowl that we're packing it in. For the camera's sake, I could have used a larger bowl, switched it and did more dishes, but you know, you can't edit life and I'm just gonna take it as I would make it at home because I'm making it at home. So, all right. And so it is a little bit dry. So I'm going to add a little bit more mayo. A little bit of jalapeno, pickled jalapeno juice. Just a little bit. And some ranch dressing. And ranch dressing kind of does, it has its own flavors in here already, so it does add a little bit of um, flavor depth as well. Another varied flavor, which is always nice. I'm going to start stirring this. And as I kind of start mixing it in a little bit, I'm gonna add some other seasonings. I already put the minced garlic in there, but I want an even uh, distribution of garlic. So I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in here. I don't have any chopped onions right now, so I'm gonna put a little bit of onion powder and or some uh, fresh green onions, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of chopped chives. Oops. I'm also going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit of paprika, kind of bring out some of that heat in those other spices, a little bit of pepper, this is cracked black peppercorns and some cracked Himalayan salt. I'm also going to add a little bit of iodine salt. We do want that iodine in things every once in a while. Increase brain function, healthy brain activity. So I'm just gonna stir this up, get these all these flavors to marry well that chicken to mix with that little bit of peppers and heat, the broccoli to mix in there, and every once in a while you get that little bit of crunch, nice crunch, uh, light fresh crunch, not always the heat, so that'll be nice. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of a different flavor there. Okay, and it is kind of popping out everywhere. That's okay. All right, and I'm going to get I hope it's kind of, looks like it's kind of mixed in well. Mix it up pretty well. And I like the, um, the chicken salad to be kind of smushy like this. Some people like it chunkier. I like it smushy because I don't like all that 
chunks in the sandwich and it's difficult to eat. Uh, I'm a little bit lazy, I don't want to have to chew it all. And so uh, I make it pretty smooth, smushed. I'm going to put this on a cracker and try it and we'll see how it, how the flavors marry together because there is some difference here than what I usually use. I use the broccoli stem and the parsley and I don't always do that. So I'm going to see how it tastes. And so now I have some, hopefully the flavors have had some time to kind of marry together. And I put some chicken salad on a cracker. I'm going to try it and let you know. Come on. I'm eating cracker on camera again. <laughs> It's all stuck in my mouth. Okay. It tastes really nice. I do taste the creaminess of the ranch and the mayonnaise. So maybe if you like that, that's great. My husband does like that. I am not tasting all the heat yet, but it'll have a little bit more time to marry and the heat will be mixed in a little bit more. And I think it needs a little bit more salt, but because I'm feeding like my father and stuff we can add that later uh, so this is how I make a chicken salad it has a lot of variety of minced peppers and vegetables and herbs so I, I think that kind of gives a, a unique little flavor and so like comment and share subscribe thank you